It's Chad here from A2K Technologies, coming to you from Autodesk University 2014. While browsing the exhibit hall, I came across the Autodesk 360 rendering booth, and they were showing off something quite familiar, but not something which I'd yet seen before from Autodesk. They had these cardboard mobile VR units. Now, you may remember seeing something similar mid this year when Google released their cardboard unit at their annual IO Developers Conference. After this happened, the internet went bananas with copies of the units popping up all over the place. This unit, which Autodesk had at AU, looks to have been partnered with Dotocase, which is one of the more popular manufacturers of the cardboard unit. When we look at the unit, it is a very simple fold-up design, which uses double-sided tape to hold it together, has two small plastic lenses, a magnet is used as a selection button, and the mobile device is held at the front with a cover and Velcro to secure. The interactive example which Autodesk provides is found at the web address as noted on the front, which simply loads a project in the device's web browser. You'll notice that I've placed an NFC sticker on mine which is preloaded with the project address to make the interaction easier for the user. The mobile device simply reads the NFC data. After the page is loaded, you can see that the device has a dual image on the screen which is beamed to a left and a right lens for viewing. Shortly after Google released their cardboard VR concept, it got me thinking about how this could affect the AEC and manufacturing industry. So over on LinkedIn, I went and wrote a short article about how concepts such as Google Cardboard, while they are cheap and currently limited in functionality, it could provide a low cost entry point in the VR world for design customers. I'll put a link to the article in the YouTube description below if you're interested. So coming back to Autodesk and their take on this, after spending some time discussing this with Autodesk, it turns out that they are implementing a VR option in their A360 cloud rendering services. The expected workflow is similar to rendering a panoramic view, but instead it will render it out in stereo. Assuming the design customer has access to a VR unit such as this Autodesk cardboard, then a link to the A360 rendered image can be emailed. This functionality is reported to be coming in just a few weeks time. It's still only early days, but it's innovations such as what Google did only six months ago, which is driving development in other spaces. We can only wonder what will be available in six months from now.